we just got back from a nice little nice little rip around the neighborhood. Um, you brought up a, a a fresh RC three ninety. I gotta say is this is definitely not that. No. So <laughs> just uh. No, I mean, I already wrote it. You already wrote it. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have this time All right. You the no, you can leave it there. I don't really need it. 2023, right? 23, yeah. 23 RC390. Yep. Love the orange. It's, it's nice. Straight from the dealer. Straight from the dealer, fresh. fresh. A little dirty, but yeah. gives it a little. She's been getting used. She's been... All right, ready to race. Let's do this. Oh, sport bike life. Oh, my God. I don't know how I like this. It's not really a sport bike. I'll be honest. It feels funny. Oh, look at her purr. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get this going. 2023. KTM RC390. Well, I'll tell you this much. You don't have to be worried about the power. I've always liked this bike. Never ridden it. Always liked it. Um, it is when I've got when I got on it. I'm like I'm. I like it. I like this thing. 50 horse, like 49 horsepower, right? I think it's slightly it's, under that. It's a 46 ish. It, yeah, yeah, I think because it has to, like, in Europe, yeah. or like, it has to, like, for a certain power to weight ratio, it's got to meet a certain yeah. power to weight ratio. Um, I think that's why it's like 40, 50 horsepower. So yeah. obviously, it's not going to kill you on power. It's nimble beyond it's all belief. The most nimble bike I've ever been on. It, it was a lot of fun. This thing was a lot of fun. You know, for a single cylinder, I thought this would be a little more, uh, a little more jerky, a little more thumpy, like uh, like my dirt bike, like my, my dirt bike, like my SMR here. But um, this is a, uh, this is pleasant, uh, a little vibey. So it's got six, and there's my boy, <laughs> my hyper. <laughs> Um, you know, out of the box, I mean, it's got a wonderful TFT display here. Um, I like it. Uh, it's very bright, big, so it looks like it's got traction control, uh, the whole, you know, the normal suites here. Let's try these brakes. Not too bad. I mean, let's give it another, let's give it another quick little stop -o. Not terrible. Brakes aren't terrible. Yeah, I feel I feel like a, a tune, like a tune. Yeah, maybe a tune. An exhaust. Mm -hmm. I well, think. so I did see some videos. It, a little bit. Even with all that, with the um, uh, a tune and the air filter and the exhaust, I think it still only gets like 55, 56 horsepower. It doesn't, still, it doesn't break up. Oh, it doesn't get you into like the 60s or 70s. Yeah. Which again. You don't I think you want. Horsepower. I think you want for this bike. I don't think you want a lot of horsepower. You don't want I a lot of horsepower can, for yeah. this bike. No, yeah. I, I think this bike, it's what six thousand dollars, right, from the yep. dealer. Yep. Six thousand dollars. So it's a certain price point, certain entry point. Um, it is. It's very nimble. It's a fun bike. The dash is great for what you get for the money. The dash yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Uh, you got the HID or the LED headlight because uh, I was looking at my rear view. I'm like, whoa, even even my no. Ducati doesn't have my Ducati no, doesn't the have. The light is phenomenal. I did yeah. ride it. it. It's the light is really good. Really nice light. The, yeah. You get the looks from it, you know. Mm -hmm. And and I get it. Like love the, I love the livery. I love the. Oh yeah. I love no. the more, this like matte sort of orange. Yeah. It looks good. It's no, a sharp. The sharp orange is light. phenomenal. That is that is by far one of my favorite oranges on a bike. That I mean, and KTM is obviously mastered the oranges, but. They that orange is so good looking, and when you see it in a photo, you're like you kind of like I mean it looks good, but in person it looks so. Much it looks better. a lot better. In it person, looks so I much. Agree. You know, I was not a fan of the shield in and in, in videos and pictures. I was like, oh, I was like, I don't really like that. But then when you, you when you see it and it's all put together, and you're like, oh, actually, this works nice. This it is does. a good looking bike. It is a very good looking bike. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and frankly, it's a great little, when I think about it from a racing perspective, because I do when up at Loudoun, right? There are a lot of people that run RC 390s, yep. right, in the lightweight category. Yep. It's a good little platform. Um, clutch, the clutch is light. Um, clutch throw is really light. Um, I could definitely use one finger the clutch. Super light clutch pull. Brakes are a little left to be desired, but outside of that, this is a nice little package for what you get. I think it's like six grand new. It's a nice little package. You know, and uh, where I race in New Hampshire Motor Speedway uh, and, and Nemer, they uh, there are a bunch of RC 390s, so it's a it's a viable race platform for sure. If if I can give my younger self some advice, right? I started off on a 750. I learned on a 750. You can do it. I that's all I ever knew. But if I can give myself some advice now going to the track, now understanding bikes and how to how to maneuver them and just how to be safe, how to become a better rider, you start off on a smaller bike, you learn how to ride it, you enjoy it. Yep. And yep. then and then you know what? Then you can move up. And then at that point, and I, I think you did this, um, you you started off with like a smaller bike and your taste changes, right? Yeah. And you kind of go, you know what? Although I did like that, I could get, I can go in this direction, I can go in this direction. I don't like this style of riding, I don't like that style of riding, you know? And I think this style of riding kind of gives you, like, it gives you a range to be like, you can be more upright, you can be more sporty, you kind of figure out where you want to be, where your lane is, mm -hmm. and then you can go that direction. And I think this bike really, like, lends itself to be a great beginner bike. Oh, absolutely. It looks again, good. You don't see it on the road. You don't see a lot of them on the road. And, and again, it's, you're still, you're still over you're perched yes. over the tank so there's it, it's what i say is a super aggressive no because it does have the risers mm -hmm. could you add another bigger riser to them absolutely yeah. oh absolutely the, the aftermarket scene for these are probably it's probably through oh the yeah too yeah. so nice. i'd say beginner bike it's a lot of fun um i'd say the brakes for again for the we're talking price point here the brakes are okay mm -hmm. who's doing some you know kind of like more aggressive braking, the brakes are okay. Mm -hmm. I hear the ABS pump line. <laughs> I do hear it. Um, the brakes are okay, again, for ri riding on the road and stuff like that, perfectly fine. Yep. Track day, turn, if you turn the ABS off, which I don't think we validated or verified. Yeah, I, haven't it off. Really, I haven't really played with any of the um, electronics. But on. besides that, I, I'm I'm sold. I I, me too. I totally would recommend this bike for yeah, sure. Me too. Me too. If you if you're just starting out, you're you know, or even if you're just trying to like start off track, I think this is a great yeah absolutely. start off track. Great start. You know, if you're on the street, you're trying to learn how to ride, and you're like, I just got my license, as my cousin just did. I think it makes sense to get something like this or a Ninja Four Hundred if you want to go in that direction. But I think in terms of looks, when you see this bike in person, it 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 destroys what the ninja looks oh know, absolutely you know and i get it the ninja still has that like more sporty kind of you know so if you're mm -hmm. younger you kind of go oh yeah I, I want that sporty look and that ninja kind of has that you know especially the newer ones with the with the nice green uh, that they got going on there but i think this is so unique like you don't see it on the road the orange just pops out the front end just looks so nice just yeah so the front, i'm looking at it right now the yeah front no it's really nice it's, I think it's a great, great looking bike. And if you're trying to be different, I think you go this direction. I agree. I agree. Uh, one one last point uh, before we got to head out. One last point is for bikes like these, entry super entry level bikes, mm -hmm. typically the, the componentry, particularly the shock, right? The rear shock. It's not necessarily meant for bigger riders. Yeah. So one thing you always want to consider why, if you want to get a bike like this or a ninja 400 or something in that range you need to consider that hey you might if you're a bigger guy like like myself or rob like anything over like buck 60 mm -hmm. you need to start considering you might have to upgrade the shock or dot or try to turn crank up the preload cranking up the preload all the way probably not all the best idea because you're really comp compressing that spring from the get-go mm -hmm. um then you don't really have a lot of travel um, so that's my only point on that. And so if you do go this route, yes, it's, a, it's probably the best way, it is the best way to sort of learn and progress, but 
understand that you might have to do a few things extra to ensure that you're getting the most out of the bike, particularly in that rear shock. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I'll wait for you to be sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you want. Honestly, I don't really care if you do because I'm, I'm not making any money off of these. But if you want to subscribe, uh, I post when I can. Uh, yeah, this I have is some, for fun. This is for fun. Sometimes I think, I think this is for like us. Like, yeah, it's like, for us. Yeah, it's mainly you know? for us. So if you like, if you like what we do, subscribe yep. if you want. Uh, buy some merch. I have some pretty cool things. I have the link in my uh, link in the bio of the ch of the channel. Buy some things. You support us. You support us being able to go to track days to review bikes, um, whichever bikes we can get our hands on. So, and if you're in the, uh, you know, Northeast area, uh, and if you have a bike you want us to review, uh, let us know, shoot me a message, shoot me an email. And uh, yeah, we'll probably, we'll wake up and then we'll figure it out. So with that, thanks. See you later. See you.